A question that I get frequently asked is how to move files and folders from within the computer and on and off the computer to external devices. Let's go back to the bills folder that I used in a previous video. Remember that inside the bills folder, I had three folders that each had files in them. Now let's pretend that I have to take those files to an accountant to do my taxes. In order to do that, I would need to have an external storage device such as a flash drive or an external hard drive. An external storage device is a device that plugs into one of the external ports, such as a USB port on the computer. They are mainly used for transporting files from one computer to another. I'm going to use a flash drive and plug it into the USB port on my computer. When I plug in the device, you should get an autoplay prompt that pops up. On the window, you will have a few options. Let's choose Open Folder to view files. If you do not get an autoplay prompt, you will need to open the flash drive manually. To do this, just go down to Start, then go to Computer. In the Computer window, navigate to the flash drive which will be located on the bottom area here. Just double click on it to open it. Your computer will display a window with the contents of the flash drive. My flash drive is empty. If you have previously saved files to your drive, you might see something there. Let's use the window snap feature that we learned about in a previous video to open two windows side by side. Remember that up top, Windows shows you your location, so you know where you are copying the files to and from. The first method of moving your files is going to be the drag and drop method. To use the drag and drop method, all you have to do is click and hold on the file or folder that you want to move, then drag it to the location that you want. Notice that before I let go of the folder, I read what it is going to do in the small text box that popped up. For this folder, you can see that I'm going to copy it to the flash drive. If I want to change it so that it was going to move it, I could hold down the shift key. You can see that the text box changed the move to flash drive. I want to make a copy of this, so I'm not going to do that. Now the entire folder and all of its contents are on the flash drive. Remember that you can select multiple folders at once instead of just one at a time. To select multiple files and folders, just click and hold on an open white area. Then move the mouse to create a selection box. Any of the files and folders that are within the box will be selected when you let go of the mouse button. You can also make a selection by holding down the control key on the keyboard and clicking on the files and folders that you want. The last type of selection method is to hold down the shift key. This works good when you are in the details view because it can only select files that are in order. The next method of moving files and folders is called the copy and paste method. Right click on the folder or file that you want to move. A menu will appear that displays some options. Go down to either copy or cut. If I choose cut, this would mean the same thing as moving the folder, instead of making a copy of it. I'm going to use the copy method for this one. Then I will go over to the location that I want, right click again, and go down to paste. Now the folder has been copied to the flash drive. You can also copy, cut, and paste by using keyboard shortcuts. After you have selected the file that you want, click either Ctrl C to copy or Ctrl X to cut. To paste the files, select the location that you want, then hit Ctrl V on the keyboard. A word of advice when moving files and folders is that you need to be careful and pay attention to where you are moving them and how you are moving them. For example, if I was to move this folder to the flash drive, and not leave a copy of it on the computer, I could easily lose all of my data if I was to lose the flash drive. 
make sure you have backup copies of the files that are important to you. We will discuss how to backup your entire computer in a later video, just in case this happens to you.